Hello there, my friend, and welcome back to yet another episode of this Caves and Cliffs survival series. I'm your host, Dr. Banana, PhD. If it's your first time here, it is great to meet you. Right now, I am just chilling inside of my kitchen and little dining area, as you can see over there, with the candles. Really like the little details that we're able to impart here. Feels so nice using the invisible armor stands. Actually, in this case, it's invisible item frames to put these little items on here to label our storage just like this little piece of rabbit that i got <laughs> been trying to find as much rabbits as i can to try to get the rabbit hide because i really really want that bundle but we don't have enough i think we need about uh three or four more pieces of rabbit hide to be able to create the bundle i did install a texture pack that allows us to do that but finding rabbits has been quite a challenge but today in this episode we have a lot to get going oh wow Hello. Hello from outside. <laughs> we have a few stuff that we'd like to work on today. We are going to try to get our enchantment room all up and decorated. And also we're going to try to work on some villager trading stuff. Maybe with some type of system that will infect them with the zombieism virus. <laughs> Zombie, zombieism? Z zom, z zombie affected virus of some sort <laughs> and then set up a system to cure them of their zombieism they'll be so grateful that we cured them and not remember that we infected them with the virus and they will give us discounted trades so that's what we're going to look forward to today we really want to get that set up so we have a lot to do why don't we let's get started here with lightning thunder and black market getting a full tour of lightning thunder's <laughs> amazing base and i had misspoke in the last episode this is not a crane this is actually a trebuchet which is even more impressive. So Thank you. So I'm a little offended that you thought it was a crane, but that's okay. <laughs> well, I mean, from the bottom, it kind of looks like it. No, I, yeah, I get that. I was uh, um, intellectually primed by the first crane down there. Ah, right. You were just ready for another crane. I got exactly. you. Exactly. Um, well, this is just some villager breeding shit. It's just um, a basic farm. I have it turned off right now because it made like eight of them oh, nice. all at once. Uh, but what I've learned is that it actually goes into the snow biome just a little bit. So you can stand here and you can see one of them has a different outfit. He's got the snow stuff. Looking quite cozy. Quite warm, right. do, as I must say. Yeah, snuggled amongst all his friends. Yeah. If you'll follow me, I'll show you the other new thing. Yeah, let's take a little look-see. I don't use my own stairs. That's how bad I am. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many uh, stairs here. I love the elevation. Yeah. Uh, but right here climb up these stairs it's not it's not ready yet but it's getting there this <laughs> is a train there. station Ooh -hoo -hoo. right so um the carts down there column all the way up to here and this chest or this mine cart with chest will uh drop them off in there very nice iron bone mine is that what that's called down there mm -hmm. it's named on my map because i found out how to do that too oh that's awesome um and I also have an item sorter now, which is why uh, the train station's right there. At least the cargo part of it. Is this your input, uh, input yeah. uh, barrel right here? Yeah. And then uh, nice. just just some, you know, blocks that I have tons of, although some of them are empty. <laughs> There's also the brewery down there. I don't know if you should. Let's take your, a little uh, look at YouTubes. the brewery here. First, the map room, which I haven't showcased. Yet. Of course. Look at that. Yeah. See, it's named now. It is. It's a, it's all an information war. You got to be careful. Exactly. I mean, it seems like we're uh, we're creating large scale kingdoms, large scale uh, yeah. cults. Or I have big plans. This is not a cult. Thank you. Um, <laughs> the word offends me. This is uh, just another word. Growth. Very nice. I like using the soul lighting for like rooms like that, just because it's makes gives it a different feel. Nice and dark and ominous. That's all that's down here right now. Uh, the item sort of room was going to be down here um so i don't know what i'm going to put there yet but it's just kind of unfinished and uh that's it for now i have a whole bunch of stone and stone brick so if you need that too oh i i do um, not i i harvested some from the what you left in the public mine i don't think i've seen this here oh you haven't well look at that you have this is gorgeous yeah take your seats yeah take your seats give us a plan uh no a glorious leader These are not for you aha uh -huh, the throne is mine yeah. i think he owns all of this now 
Oh. Yeah. Damn. It, it really that's, is that easy. I shouldn't have got off of it. That's how it works. Yeah. Never yeah. leave your throne unguarded. Got to reclaim. I've reclaimed. We're good. Exactly. Oh, now it's his now. Oh, my God. Oh, it's like boy. tag, but with one. <laughs> it's like the opposite of, uh, you know, when when you're playing tag and there used to be like a safe spot. It's like the opposite of that. Exactly. It's a, it's it's a playing tag with the safe spot. Unsafe spot. Yes. I actually started detailing properly in here, or like I had different walls yeah, for stuff. It, it looks very nice. I really Thank like you. it. Yeah, polish andesite and stone brick go very well together. It looks so just so clean, mm -hmm. and the paved floor. Oh, absolutely. Uh, smooth stone. Yeah. I tried to jump off this point into the water last time, but I failed. So I'm gonna try it again. You have to. You have to sprint jump. Here we and go. then I'm you let it. go like right at the end, and you're good. Go ahead. I'll get out of your way. Oh man! All right, wish me luck. <laughs> it's, you got it's it. It's no big deal. Look at look at her go. Hey! Big splash, by big the way. Splash. Did you just add that data pack? Because I, I did. Here he comes. Oh, you it. flashed red for a second, but you made it. <laughs> you made it. I have a tendency to do that. I have a lot of projects in in the list that I keep mentioning, but a clock tower on that is. Uh, coming in Ooh. somewhere like on that plinth there i look forward and it's to gonna it. yeah it's gonna be cool in the last season i was going more of a medieval kind of vibe and this season i'm gonna go for a more uh renaissance slash um uh like a fantasy steampunk vibe ah there you go the big copper vault door down there mm -hmm. i'm gonna let weather and stuff um is supposed to be like these villagers like big jump in technology is what they find in there. Ooh. I like uh, it. And so like all the old stuff is over there where it's going to be a lot of stone brick. And then um, there's just going to be a huge jump in technology where like there's going to be flying ships and crazy stuff. And that's how I'm going to work in copper because I like it. That's amazing. Did you use your diamonds to create an axe? Of course I did. Oh, nice. Interesting I'm choice. Financially irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> I do love uh, your look of uh, the suit uh, with the gold boots and the diamond axe and the gold tooth. Yeah, exactly. It shows uh, a certain level of uh, extravagancy. I uh, I like this opening right here. Thank with you. The, uh, oh, the the weathered co that's paying off very well, isn't it? Absolutely. This is the current work in progress. The the staircase, the grand staircase to the main halls. Mm -hmm. You're zooming up there, my goodness. I was going to say, you can go so fast. You really can. Yeah, stairs are nice. <laughs> yeah. Over here, I created a passive cactus slash bone meal farm from cactus. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, geez, that's a little bigger than mine, isn't it? <laughs> in footprint, yes. In uh, output, absolutely not. <laughs> As you can you see. You don't think so? over there in the corner it's not very efficient because <laughs> those blocks are just chilling there i think you saw last time a kitchen yeah it looks so good thank you i'll hold the door for you <laughs> appreciate that i do have to say though uh as much as i love your base uh mr banana yes. excuse me dr banana i do just absolutely love the view of uh just the monolithic structure over there yes. it's just amazing <laughs> it is like with the sunset right now that's just awesome isn't it gorgeous it's the only regret i have about my base is that there's just a there's a few too many mountains yeah so you're right being in little... the little little valley crevice of uh i think three mountains I really mm -hmm. lucked out with that spot like it's, next it's to such all the a trees, good spot on yeah. the top of a mountain mm -hmm. very good spot then of course i have the 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 chimney the fireplace that looks really good Thank you. Uh, and I'm going to create the, the chimney on the outside. Yeah, I was going to say your uh, your copper's kind of getting in the way there a little bit. I'm not sure that's good for it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I still am thinking about putting in like a, a ceiling rather than just having the roof. Mm -hmm. You could have like a little attic too. Yeah. I thought about that, but I really, wouldn't really know what to put in the attic. I might have a loft. Cobwebs. Probably put a loft. Ooh, loft's good. I like lofts so much. Yeah. And then I, I like don't know if you saw also. down here on this side, and just added another section. So another oh, I'm sorry. staircase I didn't hold section. The door that time. 
Ah, there you go. Now it's starting to come together. Yeah, with some bees on that side. This is a little temporary. With area. some bees. Some bees. <laughs> <laughs> I I love this uh, sort of irrigation idea that you have going on for connecting all these. Thank you. The pipes themselves remind me a little bit of Mad Max and doesn't paint you in the best light. <laughs> That's true. Very true. I was he thinking, who holds the water, you know. <laughs> I was thinking more uh, Mario, Mario Brothers, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's Very a, Mario. That's a little less dystopian, but yeah. I mean, depends on who you ask, but yeah. I still don't like your your banner placement there. It still makes me nervous. Your whole base makes me nervous. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's meant to, but at least you know where my allegiance is. You're starting putting all these banners out in relatively nice positions makes me question hey, things you have a warning to the the pillagers i have a warning to the pillagers i see no warning this helps oh jesus <laughs> <laughs> you missed on the last server that uh blue had i had sticks of heads yes of pillagers heads on and creepers heads on and stuff. pikes <laughs> heads on big spikes <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the tour thanks for stopping by uh and likewise on both actually amazing work going on just a few things to update you on some of us have been working on our bases quite a bit as you can see uh black market's base is coming along quite nicely with all those different layers and the deep slate and the stone and as you can tell look at that i added a little lightning rod tower to catch all the lightning since black market's base is primarily made out of wood so it would be quite a tragedy if that got struck by lightning and burned down I do have to say. So, added that to help divert the lightning. We started finishing up this staircase that we created here. Here's the entrance using a lot of the weathered copper. And when we go up, we have these pillars supporting it and it splits off into two sections. This is still a slight work in progress. I'll show that in a second. But look at this presentation. Look at all these ores on the walls. I just love this detail. It's so cool. I'm waiting to get much more diamond ore as well, because I want to be able to put it up here, or maybe swap this to over there, put diamond ore here, something of the sort. And the rest of this hallway is going to have these supporting arches. And we also have ourselves a villager in a boat. We grabbed a zombie villager and cured him of his zombieism, and we put him in here. Uh, so I'm hoping to find another guy and cure him of his zombieism. If not, I'll just have to take and buy a villager from lightning thunder this is a shaft that i made to this little loft area this is where the hallway connected from the main staircase going along this way there's going to be a little platform i haven't decided what i'm going to put here yet maybe some sort of contraption or machine just to show it off or maybe i'll have some animals or something i'm not quite sure but it's all coming together i'm very excited about it and lightning thunder has been making quite considerable progress over at spawn. Let's hop on to midnight and let's go that way to showcase all of the different changes that have happened. And up there we have the clock built by Lightning Thunder. I do have to say Lightning Thunder is building quite a bit, right in the wave of inspiration to be able to really put a whole bunch of builds in this area. Also, they're showing off their iron farm. Look at all that iron. And the rest of it is gonna be encased in iron as well. I'm very excited. So this is a clock that is based off of the Minecraft sub, which is so cool. And over on this side, take a look at all the changes. We have a huge flat platform. This used to have a whole bunch of craters and a whole bunch of little divots and valleys and caves. And it was hard to traverse and quite frankly dangerous. So I'm glad that this is put here. I helped with this project just a little bit. But look at this cathedral. This is quite amazing. I love the aesthetic that Lightning Thunder is going for. Let's take a little look on the inside so far. Oh, wow. Little floating lantern. But look at this. This is so cool. It's quite laggy over in this area. I'm not sure why. Look at that iron throne. This is a gorgeous. <laughs> Let's see how we look here. Looks like I'm not the only king this time. <laughs> We have competition for our empire. This time we'll make a corporate empire. Slowly but surely, this entire realm will be populated with corporate mega giants. 
I just love the throne room back here. It is awesome. I think this is going to house some villagers, if I remember correctly. But this is so cool. A lot of stuff is happening on this server. I'm very excited about it. Now, the next order of business is to pay Lightning Thunder for their services. So, we have some powered rails and some additional goodies, because we're nice, uh, to give Lightning Thunder for uh, lending us some resources. And just a few moments ago, Lightning Thunder delivered a villager right to our base so that we can start with our own little villager breeding and trading hall. So I have to get to the prepayment for that already. Let's see, I think this is what will give Lightning Thunder. And let's do some additional goodies. This is just a prepayment for that delivery of the villager. I do hope to compensate Lightning Thunder much more in the future when I get my trading hall up and going. That will allow us to get much, much more resources. So we have everything we need. Let's go deliver the goods. Going along here, we can see just the starts of the tunnels for our inside of the mountain base. This stairwell is all done with this additional lookout point. I don't know what I'm going to put here yet, but I did want a slight little lookout point. Going out this way, all the way down here, we can see what it looks like from the outside. And you probably heard the villager. That's where Lightning Thunder put him. Right over there. <laughs> we'll get him in just a second. This is where that additional look on point is. A little patio, a little balcony area. I'm not sure what I'm going to put here, but I will have fun trying to decide. And over on this side, we have excavated a little hole for an inset building. I'm going to put some glass over this, and I think that will be a little alchemy area. If not that, then a little farm related thing. But I am excited to get that going. Now let's get one of our horses here. Let's get Hot Chalky. This is where we moved Hot Chalky in the meantime. And deliver the goodies over to Lightning Thunder. Approaching this hill, we can see the completed clock. Look at that. That is so nice. Flexing on the iron farm, showing off how much iron that you have. And wow, this area is really coming together. Looks like most of the cathedral is done, and the planning and works for a training hall is going up. And look at this! This is so cool! <laughs> oh my goodness, I love that little detail. Wow, there is a lot happening here. This is a great use of deep slate. A nice, fun little aesthetic. Look at that. And of course, this right here is the mouth of the dragon skull to go into the skeleton farm how very neat now where to put the payment maybe in here in the the big cathedral area let me see let's go in here Ooh, very nice i'm really liking it look at these thrones this is amazing fantastic work that lightning thunder is doing I think right in the dead center is a fantastic spot to put these. Do one there, and we'll do one there. We'll do a little fun arrangement like so. Perfect. And we'll do this little fun arrangement. Let's do that. That is beautiful. Now let's label our stuff. Let's see here. We'll do the gold rail payment. And then on this one, villager delivery payment part one because once we get much more resources we will pay lightning thunder much more monies so i'm excited to have them get their payment so i'm excited to get everything up and going now that lightning thunder has been paid at least partially for their services 
I still have to figure out where I'm gonna put these guys exactly. And if we leave out this way, I happen to make a very exciting farm. I currently don't have any infrastructure as method to get up here, so I'm just gonna have to mountain man all the way up. Just have to journey up here. I have plenty of cave space within this hollow mountain, which is awesome. I love this new update for it. But here is my current little janky entrance. This is just here to signal that this entrance is here, because if it wasn't, then it'll be much harder to find. I'm gonna put a banner up there eventually. This is a little AFK platform. And what we have is this. I don't know if you can see it that well. It might be a little bit dark, but this is our creeper farm. You can see it in action right now. And watch him get pushed off. There he goes. Along with spiders. I didn't spider proof it, but that's all right. I don't mind a few spiders here and there. And if we go inside here, we can see exactly how efficient it is. You can hear them dying. And look at what we have so far. This is amazing. This has been such a great source of gunpowder and string as well. Of course, in this data pack, we can craft string from wool. So we're not really in a string deficit, but it doesn't hurt to have a string source. I do like having a good amount of string and makes for mob proofing much, much easier. So once we get our sugarcane farm up and running, we'll have a great source of paper so that we can have plenty of rockets once we eventually get an elytra, which I hope is coming very, very soon. I've been trying to get as much inner pearls as I possibly can because I really, really want the elytra and the shulker boxes. That will help us a lot in our future endeavors and future projects. It is time to head on over into the mines to find an amethyst geode. And the reason why we're trying to find an amethyst geode is to get a bunch of amethyst block I believe that will be very, very nice for our enchantment room. And I am very excited to get that going. A nice little magical detail. Little fantasy detail to our floors, I think will be beautiful. And I don't know if I've shown it off on camera before, but I'm trying out this texture pack from the Vanilla Tweaks, which adds 3D pointed dripstone. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? I like it. I thought I won it at first, but I really like it. It is really cool. Maybe there should be an option in vanilla Minecraft to add that. But if we come around this side, we get to see the amethyst geode, one of the first ones that we found in this realm. If we don't die along the way. It's gonna be over on this side. Oh, goodness gracious. Hug the wall, come on this side. And there it is. Perfect and ample opportunity to get a lot of calcite as well. It's calcite. I keep saying calcite when it's calcite. There's no additional A in there. All right. Excuse me. Let's just get some of this. And let's tackle this guy. Nearing the end of our available inventory space, just trying to get the last few bits and bobs here. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make it out with one trip with everything. Because, as you can see, my inventory is completely full, and, unfortunately, my ender chest inventory is completely full. Let's see, well, let's see what I can do about it. Hopefully I can put, no, nope, I can't put any more stuff in there. So, <laughs> let's take what we need, and dip on out. Uh, uh, let's see, there we go, perfect. That's all we need for now, let's go on home. And, also, upon my uh, travels and expedition to try to light up this cave area, I did find something quite exciting. We come all the way over here in this hole more of the copper ore the copper vein the large one is exposed in here so this is quite impressive quite huge i don't know if this is a separate copper vein that spawns so close to the other copper vein or if it's just the same one that's separated by a chasm by a large valley either way highly impressive just placing down some final bits of black stained glass to this room which is the enchantment room and this is what we have so far it was the hole that we had excavated prior just happened to fill it up with some amethyst blocks right here i absolutely love this amethyst block very musical love walking all over it and i'm trying to use regular copper in here and not the oxidized copper Something to show that uh, this place is well managed 
and maybe it's being preserved by the the magic and the mystery and the mystique that is the enchantment room the ancient knowledge of some sort i still have a lot more work to do in this room i have to put in the walls and such and i did happen to realize that i won't be able to have the same type of hallway as but as i've been wanting to do with this room and everything where it's inset one block that way because i don't have enough room here i'm not able to go into this room too much because then it would feel kind of cramped and it would definitely show on this side so what i'm thinking of having on these walls here are the copper arches which have bookshelves i think that would be a great detail i might uh, put some lapis lazuli blocks up on the ceiling to kind of show the that you use the lapis lazuli in order to enchant but i'm happy with how it is currently and i'm excited to see how this turns out in the future also want to get some frames around here I might split this off into sections like large panels i'm not quite sure yet we'll have to we'll have to find out this is a fantastic view also quite a nice view in the future i do hope to put some buildings on that mountainside i think that would contribute very well to the view maybe something down there as well maybe add some type of statue or um figure or something in the sunflower pass maybe some banners and such i need to come up with my own personal banner as well we are mid construction on one of our future buildings and i am very excited for this design i'm trying to use a lot of the basalt and some of the cobbled deep slate highlights once i finish this little roof part take a step back it will all come together you can probably already tell Let's have a little hop down. I love the new splashes data pack that I added. That is lovely. But let's have a little look at how this is coming along. Take a little look at that. It's just a frame right now. I'm gonna be adding much more. I think something I can add right now to really uh, emphasize a lot of its form is this stripped spruce log outline. Here we go, add some of that. Come over this way. right and then this one goes inside this five by five entrance here nice grandiose entrance just keep breaking my legs upon fall let's use the splashes oh that happens every once in a while okay almost done here this little accent detail really ties it together Good thing I keep some extras in my ender chest. All right, bring it together. Strip some of this. All right, let's take a little look. There we go. Now that is feeling much more complete, much more grand. We'll add some of the last little bits. Uh, I need some copper. Hold on, I'll be right back. Here we go. These few bits go on this side. Let's take a little look from the outside. Little bit of copper peeking through. With this bit, we'll tie it all together. There we go. There, there. Over on this side. All right, let's see. Ooh, that's looking very nice. Very, very nice to that front facade. Now the last little thing I gotta do, which honestly kind of hurts, but uh, it's gonna help, is adding these little rails. Okay. And there we are. Awesome. Now let's take a little step back. There it is in all its glory and all its might. Quite impressive. Quite imposing, strong, but also grand, if I do say so. I really like it. I'm really happy with how this turned out. 
I was struggling a lot with figuring out the placement of this building because I don't have much room here, I just realized. This right here is the furthest back that I can go because there is the staircase leading up. So I am quite confined with space. However, if there's one thing that sparks creativity is certain limitations, creative limitations. So we're trying to work outside the box. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to push this area forward because this area tapers off into this little small courtyard. I'm still debating of whether or not I'm gonna have a little fountain or maybe some tables and chairs and such because this is such a nice view. But I am happy with how this turned out. Now, to better complete the enchantment room finally, I'm gonna add these little minor few bits and bobs. Let's go ahead and take a little look-see here. All the way down here, turning the corner. I've added some of the regular copper uh, lining, as you can see. Uh, I haven't had enough wax to be able to keep these all wax, so I'm going to have to manually scrape them. But I do like these little sections with the bookshelves. And I have been slowly amassing more and more bookshelves. And these right here, little placeholder empty shelves, are the loom blocks. And I think they look really, really cool. It's a great uh, little detail to show the empty bookshelves, which is very, very nice. Now let's see. Let me add a little bit more here. Okay, perfect, perfect. I'm liking it. I'm liking the steps. Maybe this one can be full as well. Awesome. And then add some barrels down here. I think that's a good way to go. Need to make some more barrels. Get some more barrels. Barrels are always very handy. Perfect. Let's add some lecterns. All right. Very nice. That looks really good. I think it, I think it ties this whole place together. Let me do this, actually. Okay, okay little shelves if I do a shelf this way hmm maybe not maybe not that one maybe like this that that works that's perfect There we are, very nice. Look at that. Almost officially complete, just need to do a ceiling, some integrated lights, maybe a chandelier in the middle. Then it'll be good to go. Fantastic. We have some interesting shenanigans afoot here. Let's follow this rail and you'll see the start and inner workings of the villager breeder just this tiny little bit right here that i've got i'm gonna try to push this guy into that hole hopefully please go down in there you know what i'm gonna have to break that there we go f3b to show the hitboxes very nice little tip so that i don't beat up the villagers get get in there get in there please nope nope no 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 <laughs> oh no you got this. I think I think I'll have to wait until it's nighttime in order for that guy to go in there. Because he'll automatically start sleeping in a bed. And then when he wakes up, he'll pop right in the middle. Then they'll start making villagers. Let's put this in there. That way we just press this button. And a minecart comes all the way out. Lightning Thunder just stopped by and looked at our building improvements and also dropped off some mending books from their villagers that they have. So I'm excited to use these. I've been wanting to put mending books on these pickaxes for quite some time now. So let's put a mending book on there. Let's see, what, what are we going to name this? 
Here we go. I think. Okay. Maybe, maybe that. Perfect. And we'll put that one on there. What can we name this one? This is Fortune 3 Pickaxe. Hmm. I'll call it Lucky. The Lucky Pickaxe. There we are. Fantastic. The mending is going to take experience and put it into the durability, which is awesome. So let's take the opportunity to repair these by getting some coal ore and some nether quartz. Okay, let's put the silky touch touch in the offhand with the lucky in the main. And do this. This will help us get a lot of the nether quartz and a lot of the coal as well. So I'm gonna do this for a little bit and I'll show you how much that repaired up the tools. Coming up in the last bit now, quite a bit of coal. And as you can see, we repaired both pickaxes pretty well. Look at that, that's almost halfway done with just a few stacks of coal and quartz. And I do gotta say, we got quite a bit of stacks out of all of that, look at that. So 600, and 500 almost 600 that's pretty good so let's put all this away but actually now that i remember i think there is some experience stored in these furnaces if i remember correctly i i hope let's see here let's see that one perfect there we go all right that was something about halfway look at that very very cool and now to check up on these guys here, let's see how well they're doing. Oh, look at that. There are, I think, three villagers there. Take a little look-see. Four, there's a baby. Wow, this is going pretty well. I think on this side, we're gonna do um, the discounted trades. So I gotta get my zombie guy in here um, so that he can attack them, turn them into the villagers, and then, send them on their merry way and then have them go and be healed so that they can have reduced trades just doing a little work shopping and i have this so far so we have a rail coming out from there delivering these guys this way into their own designated chambers and this is where i will do the special selection for their job professions they're going to be right here I'm going to put their jaw block right in front of them, see what they have to trade. If I like it, I'll keep them. If not, break the jaw block, try it again till we get something that we really want. And then I am going to connect it up over to yonder way. So it's going to go around the back here. Open that up. And it will go here as well. I don't have nearly enough gold to make powered rails. I really need some powered rails. But then it'll go up here, and eventually I'll have a zombie in here that will attack the resting villager, turn it into a zombie villager, then shuffle the zombie villager over to a section over here to uh, be in a holding cell to be cured. Get that splash potion of weakness, feed him a golden apple, and then we'll do that. See if we like the trades. If this isn't discounted enough, there'll be a, f a feedback loop system. We'll press them to go back into the system, turn them into a zombie again, cure them, until we reduce those trades down to something very, very cheap. So that's how we're going to do it. Now, let's see if this actually works. So we have button hooked up to this dispenser, which goes on the minecart, or goes into the track. So let's see if this works. I'm going to press it and hope that it does. Awesome. Has one of these guys. They're moving. They're moving. Boom. Look at that. Hello. Hello. That's so cool. Press that button. You get moved to the next track. That button gets moved to the next track. Perfect. So we'll keep this villager right here and we will shuffle the professions around. Now well, let's see. I don't know if I have to create a tighter wall. I'll do it just in case. 
So only this guy sees the profession. There we are. So this is going to be a librarian. I should have prepared with a lectern. <laughs> I need to get more books and this is underway, but I think that is all that we have time for today. I want to thank everyone for joining me here on this trial and error series where we try to get uh, a lot of good stuff going like the villagers and such. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Goodbye! Boy, if you need wood, do I know a guy? <laughs> really? <laughs> I, am, I have dedicated my life to wood and wood only. That's going to be great in the in the recording, I think. I yeah, think you so. should just have that in there with no context and then just us talking about it after. That should be your like little intro crawl. <laughs> Ooh. Or better yet, I've the, dedicated uh... my life to wood and then you do the intro. <laughs> Or, most likely, the little outro blooper sequence.